Hello everybody and welcome back to the greatest game of all time. We are back once again for another daily episode of our beautiful game here. This is, of course, Secret of the Magic Crystal, our favourite game of all time. There is nothing quite like it on Earth, the pleasure that I get from playing this game on a daily basis. So let's enter the stable and we'll see what we can do. And we'll, uh, we'll get in some training. Of course, we have Big Wang Horse here our stallion wearing the absolutely amazing glasses that he has. Um, we still haven't really unlocked many new things yet. Um, unfortunately, I haven't quite got the, enough for the dress up DLC yet. You're going to have to donate if you want to see that in the next episode um, so that I can afford to, uh, to, to get some of these upgrades. Because as you can see, if we want, we can have one feather, but two or three we're going to have to give up the big bucks for that. Uh, but we got a lot more to see here. A lot more to see indeed. The magic hat now, that would really, that would really be quite outstanding. But I think, I think he's in a good place right now. Um, I think we can, um, we can give him a wash maybe. There you go. Let's scrub him up. Oh, he didn't, he didn't quite like that. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. There you go. You can have a bit of a scrub a dub dub. Um, and maybe put that back. Yeah, there you go. How about you have a little bit of drink? And a little bit to eat. Here we go. I think we're ready. I think we're good. Maybe we can um, move over. Oh, unfortunately went over to the wrong horse there. There you go. Um, weather's not looking great at the moment, unfortunately. That just kind of is what it is, though. Um, that's, that's just kind of how it goes in, 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 uh, in the horse valley, as we're going to call it here. Um... Maybe we can head to the, the blacksmith and get some upgrades going there as well. Of course, um, we're already looking great. I mean, we've got the flower shoes going that do look quite incredible. But we can take a look in our book and we can see what sort of stuff we can craft. We could actually get a new recipe here. Um, should we seek for new horseshoes? I think we should, actually. Um, we only need a few ingredients for this, so maybe we can make this work. Let's... Um, Let's see if we can get to crafting with that. Come on. Let's see if we can get this going. Unfortunately, I don't think we have the crafting and materials required right now to make that uh, that steep, steep purchase for Big Wang here, which is a real shame. But that's okay. That's okay. We've got plenty of other things to do. Um, let's uh, let's head to the corral maybe and see what we can get done there. Here's where we can get most of our training done now. This is where the exciting part really happens. As you guys know, daily training. Uh, we'll go for we'll go for some dressage course here because that's really where um, where the big books come in and we we really level up quite a lot. So let's uh, let's get ready. Let's head off and go. Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. Oh, look at a trot. Look at the majestic beast go. Speeding up a little bit now, really picking up the pace, and this is some just exhilarating gameplay. Look at that trot, the majestical speed. What a stallion. Holy hell. Carry on, carry on. Look at the flower on the tail as well. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. There you go. Good. Uh, doing them ones, the previous ones a little bit too early, but we can get him a little bit better. We can get him a little bit better. You strut your stuff. That was a un unfortunately somewhat poor attempt, but it doesn't matter because we got 93%. That's just how good we are. Wow, wow, wow. That's just how good we are. Right. Um, I think we should do sled pulling, increase our strength a little bit. I mean, we're, we're going to head over to some multiplayer races very shortly, of course, and we need to make sure that we are primed and ready for that because they are really where the challenge starts. Now, as you can see, in this challenge, the gameplay really differs quite heavily. Um, we have to do something very, very different than in the previous challenge, and it really it really requires a different set of skills. Um, and this is this is definitely the, the uh, mode that I personally, I think, have perfected. Uh, as you can see, we got a good there. Um, I don't think it really comes close. I mean, we got a perfect there as well. I mean, that is unprecedented. Um, but with with it just being such a different league of gameplay and the style and skills required being so heavily varied, a lot of separate time has to be put into each individual mode. 
and each individual piece of training to make sure we can really, uh, really get some good strength going. I mean, you can see the horse is, is about to keel over and die, but that's fine. And see, this time, I feel like we did significantly better than the last one, but only an 87% this time, rather than 93 um, we can also do some, uh, some forest course training, but my horse is exhausted now, unfortunately. We do get some rainbow, um, some rainbows coming in though, so that's rather nice. But, do not fret, do not worry, for we can head to the gate, and maybe, just maybe, we can win some stuff. Our energy is low, so we'll see. Um, let's have a look, we can enter for the fastest horse. Ah, oh, we're still exhausted, maybe we'll, uh, we'll head back to the stable here and... See if we can rest up easy for a little bit and regain some of that energy. Let's see if you need a little bit of food, a little bit of water. Help you regain a little bit here. Is that all you want? Is that all you want? How about we uh, give you a bit of a scrub, scrub, scrub here and there? And that has pretty much fully regained your energy. I, I, you're saying you don't like it, but your energy is, is on fleek right now, so don't worry about it. But this, this people, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We can head out to the gallop race, the weight pulling, the obstacle course, the show jumping, the steeple chase challenge. I think we'll go for the steeple chase challenge. The ste steeple chase challenge, yes. Okay, now ca we all have to prepare yourself because we're about to head into the hardest bit of gameplay of the actual entire game. So let's let's see, let's see, okay. On the outside, Big Wrong Horse is weakened on the outside. Turning inside is now in first place. On the outside, Big Wrong Horse, weakened on the outside, running forward. And here comes Big Wrong Horse on the outside. He's now in first place. He's turning inside. And here comes Big Wrong Horse on the outside. Passes over the water jump successfully. It's turning inside. And continue on the far turn. It's turning inside. Now in first place again. And turning on the inside. Oh, weakened on the outside. They continue on the far turn The Weakened again. It's now running well. Good, good. And here comes Big Wrong Horse. They uh, continue on the far turn. They're now in first place once again, exhilarating, turning inside, and here he comes, now running well once again, and here he comes once again, now running forward and took the fences quite well, back in first place, continue on the far turn, it's weakened once again, it's turning on the inside, it's weakened, continue on the far turn, it's now in first place, running forward, Weakened once again. This is just just non-stop gameplay. Like, how can you compare this to anything else in life? Because the 10th place, 9th place, Robbie in 8th. Robbie, how dare you? 7th place for Caitlyn here. Sunkey in 6th. Elry? I know Elry. Couldn't do it. Couldn't hack it. Fourth place, the top three now, though. Oh, oh, look who it's going to be coming in first place. Wow, the gameplay there. The amount of effort that we had to put in to securing that victory is actually kind of crazy. Like, my goodness. My goodness. Only 27 seconds left until something. We'll find out, I guess. But that is, yeah. That, that bit of gameplay right there, I, I, I don't know if another game has ever really done racing quite so well. Um, I feel like a lot of the time they focus on the mechanics of the vehicle or the, the, type, the, the type of race that you're doing and the physics. But really, when it comes down to it, all you really care about is who comes where. And you don't really care as to how. And so this game has really removed all that unnecessary stuff. So we're going to go for another one here, I think. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do the weight pulling now uh, because we proved just how strong we were there. The field is incredibly strong. He slows down. It's not too promising, but he, uh, we need to pull harder. He's not too promising, but he's back in first place and the field is incredibly strong. He slows down and it's not too promising. Come on, pull harder. Slows down. It's not too promising. 
The others have better results. He's now in first place. Tremendous effort. Oh, good. We can't read that text. Perfect. Amazing. Still not tired. Not tired at all. He's pulling hard. Again, can't read. Pull harder. He's in first place once again. This is just exhilarating. Okay. I think... I think we're waiting for the race to end here. I'm not quite sure what I just did. But anyways, that was... That was truly some thrilling gameplay. So I think now... We're going to head out into some multiplayer here. And see what we can find. Let's do the seaside. We'll see if we can find any other online competitors. To be fair... I have had a reigning dominance over this game for many, many years now. And to be fair, I, I think all the other competitors that would dare to challenge have um, given up. And, um, and unfortunately decided that they couldn't step to the plate. They really couldn't um, show up and, and prove, prove their worth because they've been bested so many times. And so, unfortunately, it leaves just me. So we might have to have a, um, a solo race here. But... Still, it's a good test of our endurance and skill. We need to keep ourselves fresh every single day playing this game. So it's always a good practice regardless to, uh, to, to try each of the courses, see what we can get done. And hopefully the sequel of this game is coming very shortly. I mean, with the absolutely phenomenal success of this game over the last few years... It would be, it would be kind of insane. But here we are, we're in the race. I mean, we've got all these other horses that look cool and stuff, but really, do they, do they look cool? Do they look cool at all? Not compared to us. Compared to us, they look terrible. Take the inside corner, wow. It's just, it's just insane how easily we take that. Now, I've just got to remember how to actually use my water bucket here. That is going to be something fairly crucial to winning here. Um, at the moment, I completely do not remember how to do that. Okay, there you go. We can just click to place that down easily. So we've lost a few pole positions here, but it's honestly not so bad. Um, we may be lacking behind a little bit, but this one with the crab on its back, it ain't got nothing on us. I mean... The, the one problem here is these guys always take the outside line. We can take the inside there, and we do we do get a little bit of a crash, but it honestly doesn't really matter. So we can do this to, to heal up. Really, we're looking for uh, the speed boost here. Of course, this game famously ripped off by Mario Kart. I mean, you can see the formula here already, and you can really see where the, um, the competitors kind of stole the idea from. It's, it's kind of shameful, to be honest, especially... Um, with Mario being such a small indie game. I mean, to steal from a big corporation game like this is just kind of foul. But anyways, we've spoken about that at length and we'll, we'll push forward regardless and see what we can do here. So we've still, still got um, Shadow and the Crab Boy sitting up front here, which isn't ideal. Um, but Crab Boy here, I don't think is actually really ready for this. I think... Um, I think this inside line here might help us. Unfortunately, oh, we do get some, we do get some luck here. Unfortunately, a, a significant slowdown heading into the finish here, which is going to mean a late finish, which is not ideal. Unfortunately, we're really taking a bad position there, and that was that was quite embarrassing. That was, I think, I think the horse is going to have to be put down, people. No, I'm joking. Big Wang will never be put down. But that was that was a rather embarrassing blunder. But we do not worry, do not fret, for we have um, we have but a few more minutes to go until our next race, and we can certainly prove ourselves. I mean, that course it's a little bit basic for us, and to be honest, we do let the others win some of the time to to boost their confidence a little bit. Of course, we can't just every single time just win every race. It would just demoralise the competition. We have to give them some semblance of chance. And so we're going to head in to the next race. And maybe this one will be a little bit different. Maybe this one we can pull out the stops. I mean, our energy was a little bit lacking in that last race. Um, you could see that on a few of the corners, we weren't quite taking them the best that we could have done. But we did just 
hugely succeed in a few competitions, um, such as that steeple challenge and the weight pulling. I mean, we did excellent at both of those, so I feel like it can be sort of allowed. But anyways, we start the race here. I like this this crystal cave level. This is def definitely my favourite. I mean, the, the start position here is a little off, um, and we do get a power up right off the bat, which unfortunately I think we're getting bullied away from, which isn't great. But we do get to take the speed up, which no one else decided to take advantage of, and that is going to be absolutely huge for us. Wow. I mean, just look at that insane advantage that we get from that there. And we can do it again here for um, another pretty insane speed boost. I'm going to set up some bucket traps here um, to get something going on. And get another one here and yet another speed boost here i mean we lay that directly on the speed boost the trap there i think that's going to do as well i'm not quite sure what that was in the track there but i'm going to try and avoid it okay we've got to take the inside line here and then move around to the left as we as we exit on this lap uh i did get a bit of a frame rate drop there but as you can clearly see the graphics on this game are um are kind of insane so yeah, we're getting a few frame rate stutters, but honestly, that's to be expected on a game with this amount of graphical fidelity. Um, I don't really know how they managed to do this at quite the level they did, but it is it is very impressive. Now, there is buckets littering the field in every position possible. I unfortunately clipped the dirt there, but we have a pretty substantial lead, and we're about to go into another speed boost that I somehow missed. Okay, now, the game might be rigged here. We'll grab, uh, we'll grab this this time around. It is nothing, luckily, so just a, a floating bit of nothingness. But I think I think we've still secured victory here. We've got one more lap, of course, coming up, um, and there could still be some shenanigans that go down here that cause some particularly bad issues for us, but we've got some buckets going on. Speed boost is coming out to play. There you go. Okay. Unfortunately, that corner seems to really have some issues. Okay. Excuse me, my squire. Excuse me. This is not the sort of play that I want to see here. Some illegal maneuvers going on. I'm going to try and line up a bucket play there to get a slowdown. I've kind of weaved through the chicane there. Um, and we really, really ought to be hitting this speed boost here to maintain our lead. Luckily, just narrowly missed that bucket. That could have been dangerous. And I think... With a tight corner there, we've easily secured this victory by quite a margin, which is, again, to be expected. The first race very much letting the opponents gain some confidence. But here, we come in amazing speed. And uh, we can head to the, the Crystal Mountain now. This is, this is another level that I really enjoy. We can wait for the other opponents to arrive and see what happens. See if we can get some good stuff going on. Okay. We can also press the control key to use our power-ups, of course. I, I did know that. I just prefer to use the mouse, of course, even though this next race I'm definitely going to use control now because I didn't just learn that. That is something that I've known for a long time, but just tend to switch between, of course. This is our third route. We're ready to go. Um, we've got one more race after this, and I think after that we'll, we'll be in a good spot to, um, to call this episode quits and basically move on to the next day, of course. This is episode something thousand and something. It's it's getting on quite a bit. We've been doing this every day for multiple years now. Probably like seven or eight years in the horse fields. And we've become quite the champion at it. But it never gets old. It never gets old. You just... It's just one of the, the best things that we do, really. Okay. Let us push forward. And on we go. Okay, so who's our main com competition here? We do have the crab again. The, the crab character is, um, of course, one to look out for. Now, there is some inside lines you can take here for some slight time cuts as well as some boosts. It's a little bit tricky to get sometimes. We'll drop some of those down there and slow down some of our competition. Luckily, our crab friend is not in a position to catch up right now. And there's the inside line giving us that insane boost. Like, that is just crazy how much of a lead that gives us on our uh, opponents. Now, unfortunately, this corner, always a little bit of an issue for Big Wang Horse. Um, it's not great, and we are unfortunately getting caught in the dirt here. That's been a pretty significant slowdown. I expect us to get um, some of the competition coming over back towards us here, but we'll get a speed boost to catch up. 
And again, you can see some of the frame rate issues we're having. Like I said, the bound to be expected in a game of this graphical intensity. It's uh, it's not not all PCs can really handle this. It's kind of insane. Now that chicane there, that really is the one to uh, to watch. And we unfortunately missed out on a key um, a key player there with the boost. But ne do not worry. Next time we'll get it. And unfortunately. Someone's got the crystal power. Now, that is certainly going to cause some issues. I mean, we can see um, the, the winged fire demon horse with his Santa little booties is, is, is slightly catching up. He's he's not quite getting it. He's, uh, he's kind of trailing us. Unfortunately, he did just pull ahead, but it's not to be a big worry. Um, Unfortunately, the wall here, I'm riding the edge a bit too closely. Is he going to get the inside line? He doesn't get the inside line. Okay, this is our waste, waste, our race to win now. We get that speed boost. We keep that going for a long time, and that should catch us up. Unfortunately, we've been bucketed, but the caveat is he actually ran into the wall at the exact same time, meaning we didn't lose that much time on him, and we're still only on lap two here. We have plenty of time to play catch up. He is going to get the boost, of course, which is unfortunate for us. But one of the powers here surely will help us out. We've got the wreath. Okay, now this we need to take a more of an outside line on, so we cut the corner easily. And there you go, the chicane. Perfectly, perfectly executed. We're going to miss out on that boost there. But honestly, does that really matter when we have a lead like this? No, it does not. No, it does not. Now this, this is the lap that really... It's for all the beans. Let's uh, let's try and take that inside line again. This curl here can be a little tricky for some horses, but not for us. We practice heavily. Of course, as I said, the frame rate drops. It's something common. It's ho hopefully something the second game will uh, will somewhat address. I'm sure it will. Um, although. I don't know if with a second game they'll improve the graphics even more, but honestly, this is the pinnacle of PC gaming, so I don't know if they could possibly do that. I guess maybe. Um, ooh, now this is unfortunate. That was a bit of a bad turn there, but if we look at the map, we've actually still got a substantial lead going into the last major corner here. And we can grab the speed boost as well. Maybe grab some buckets here, so just lay down a little track. There you go. Three more buckets, just in case. And you can see that amazing lead that we have right now. And again, we take the outside line into the chicane. Wow, look at that. Kind of insane. And we can actually take the boost this time as well. Now that, that is how to secure your last lap. I mean, we did get bucketed, but that's not going to matter all so much when we pass over the victory line in just a moment. That was just for some extra style points, I suppose. But there you go. Is that going to be a world record? I don't think so, but it's pretty close. Not quite, though. And we'll go on to our last race here of the day. The underwater cave, I think, is the one for us. We can uh, we can see what we can perform over here. And hopefully, just hopefully, we can get something good going on. I think I think so. This is this is a level that has some some little tricks in it. To be honest, it can be it can be a little bit spicy with this under uh, sort of under the ground cave area. There's some um, speed boosts that you can get that move, I believe. Um, and they can be a little tricky to sort of catch in the right timings. And um, sometimes it can it can lead to some issues, sure. But we've kind of perfected it at this point. We've gotten to a point where we know what we're doing. We'll, um, we'll try and make our way around it in a timely manner. And hopefully we can beat out the competition. Now, it depends on who's riding against us once again this time around. Um, we could have a star in the field. I mean, it doesn't happen often, but you never really know, to be honest, do you? You never really know. Um, anyways, let's jump into this race. See what we can do. There we go. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any crazy competition here. Maybe the yellow one with the fairy, uh, the fairy stuff going on could be a problem. Unfortunately, no power up for us in the early game here. Now, that doesn't matter so much. Um, honestly, the power-ups early on are a little overrated. Um, I think what's really going to matter is securing those boosts. And unfortunately, I've made a critical blunder um, and missed the first boost. And that's really going to set us back. I've also missed the second set of power-ups too. 
So okay, though, we know these corners like the back of our hand. We've managed to eke our way into first place with no real issues. And we can get another one of these going. Hey, we managed to hit with that last bucket as well. Perfection itself, and there you go. That's the speed boost we are looking for, baby. Coming out of the cave. Beautiful, and we re-enter back into the cave once again, of course. Get some more buckets going on. We managed to get double bucket there, which was... It's kind of a, it's kind of a like, a unique strat that not everyone can pull off. But something that veterans like myself can easily perform. Now this corner, especially with that frame drop, a little bit tricky. We can uh, go for another few buckets there. Now, we have lost a significant amount of speed coming into this next corner, the uphill especially, but we do have a bubble coming up just here. We need to stay on the outside line to make sure we grab it. So, okay, it's coming up to just a moment here. Stay on that outside line. There you go. We got it. We got it. Okay, so we'll try and get the other two bubbles here. We've we still got a pretty prominent lead, um, but there is more to be gained here, so let's try it. Double bucket strategy. Oh, we did it again, baby. Do you see that? Unfortunately, the slowdown coming in. The double slowdown, in fact. Wow, okay, that is, that is letting everyone else get quite a significant bit of catch-up on us there. The good thing is, the slowdown here does mean we should be able to grab the speed boost. Unfortunately, not actually. Wow. I did unfortunately catch a bucket there. Um, but again, doesn't matter so much. Oh, really? This has been a really, really unfortunate race for us here. That power-up that you just saw there, really causing us some issues. Now, I'm really going to hope that one of them hits that. We really have to hit this bubble going up here, otherwise we're probably going to lose. There you go, we got it. Okay, okay, this should, this should secure us the victory. Let's hope, let's hope. And I think that's it. We got it. Nice one. Beautiful. That's going to be another victory for us. Amazing. We can leave our races there. And I think... I mean, the season's changed, as you can see. But I think that's going to put us in a good spot here. I hope you guys did enjoy another amazing episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.